Buying a Dutch oven is a big decision. It's an investment that will last for decades, so you want to make sure that you get it right. In this video, I break down the biggest mistakes people make when buying a Dutch oven. You'll learn what to look for and the sizes, shapes, materials, and designs you should avoid. The first mistake is buying the wrong material. There are two main types of Dutch ovens, bare cast iron and enameled cast iron. Bare cast iron Dutch ovens need to be seasoned with oil to prevent rusting. And when you simmer liquids for long periods, especially acidic liquids like tomato sauce, the seasoning will degrade and tiny bits will flake into the liquid. Enameled cast iron Dutch ovens are protected by a coating of fused glass particles that are melted down and sprayed onto the cast iron. This coating is hard and non-reactive, which means you can cook any ingredient for any amount of time without issues. You never have to worry about rust and you don't have to season it like you do with bare cast iron. Don't get me wrong, bare cast iron is excellent for searing meats, roasting vegetables, and baking, but it's not the best material for large pots used primarily for liquids. Unless you plan to use your Dutch oven over a campfire, get one that's enameled. Another common mistake is buying the wrong size. Dutch ovens come in a wide range of sizes, but for 99% of home cooks, a 5 to 7 quart Dutch oven is ideal. These sizes are large enough to cook generous batches of soup, stew, and chili, but not so big that they won't fit on your burner or take up too much space in your cabinet. 1 to 3 quart Dutch ovens can be nice for side dishes and serving, but they're not big enough to use as your primary Dutch oven. Even if you cook for yourself or one other person, a 5 to 7 quart Dutch oven is a better choice because it's more versatile and you'll have the option to cook enough food for plenty of leftovers. Unless you have a large household with over 5 people, a Dutch oven over 7 quarts is too big and heavy and won't fit well on most burners. Another mistake to avoid is choosing the wrong shape. Dutch ovens come in two main shapes, round and oval. Round Dutch ovens fit nicely on round burners, and because of that, they heat up evenly. They also take up less space on the stovetop and leave enough room for other pots and pans. They're also easier to store. You can stack them on top of other round pots and pans. Oval Dutch ovens take up more space and don't heat as evenly on the stove because the ends extend beyond the burner. But they're better for roasting large, long cuts of meat in the oven, like a leg of lamb, pork shoulder, or beef tenderloin. They're also better better for baking bread because they allow you to make a traditional long loaf shape. In a round Dutch oven, you're limited to round loaves. It's not necessarily a mistake to buy one shape over the other. The mistake is not thinking about the types of meals you'll be cooking most often. For most home cooks, I recommend a round Dutch oven because it's more versatile and better for stovetop cooking, and many Dutch oven recipes start on the stove. However, if you plan to cook a lot of roasts or bake long loaves of bread, you might be better off with an oval Dutch oven. The interior of most Dutch ovens is either black or a light sand color. Dark interiors do a better job hiding stains and scratches, but also make it more difficult to monitor browning or see if your food is sticking or burning. As you can see with these onions, the light interior makes it easier to see the browning. Although I appreciate that a dark interior makes discoloration less noticeable, it's more important to be able to monitor your food's progress. So if all else is equal, I prefer Dutch ovens with a light interior. Most people don't think about the lid knob when buying a Dutch oven, but that's a mistake. The material of the knob impacts the maximum oven safe temperature and safety on the stovetop. For example, Le Creuset Dutch ovens come with either a black plastic knob or stainless steel knobs with either a brushed steel, metallic gold, or copper finish. The classic black knob is oven safe up to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. The signature black knob is oven safe up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit. And all the steel knobs can handle up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Although knobs made of plastic materials can't handle as much heat in the oven, they stay cooler on the stovetop. Fortunately, most Dutch oven knobs are easily removable. So if you want the best of both worlds, you can purchase two knobs and use the plastic one on the stovetop and the steel one for high temperature oven cooking. The design of the knob is another detail that's often overlooked. You want a knob with a wide top and a long stem. The larger top makes it easier to grip and tilt the lid, even when wearing an oven mitt. And the longer stem allows you to grip the knob without your knuckles touching the hot lid. While I'm a fan of stove Dutch ovens overall, their small lid knobs are one of the few downsides. You also want to avoid looped handles like this. While these look nice, they're not very functional because you can only fit a couple of fingers in them. 
Lid design is another important factor that most people don't consider, but you should. You want a heavy lid with a tight seal to lock in moisture, but there are a few other features to consider. On top, it's nice to have a groove to rest your spoon without it sliding off. Even better is a flat lid with raised edges. With this design, you can rest utensils and put ice on top while you cook. When the hot steam from inside the pot makes contact with the cold surface of the lid, it quickly condenses back into liquid, dripping back into your dish. This technique creates an even more moist environment inside the pot. The interior of the lid also matters. Many brands like Made In and Stobe have tiny bumps that capture evaporating liquid and evenly distribute it back into the pot. Based on my tests, this feature actually does work. The lid with the self-basting dimples collected and distributed moisture more evenly than the lid without any texture. Don't buy a Dutch oven with small side handles or handles with a thin opening that doesn't comfortably fit your hand. And definitely don't buy one with handles that are just ledges with no opening. Look for handles that stick out at least 1.25 inches with an opening of 0.75 inches. Ideally, they will stick out 1.5 inches with an opening over 1 inch. Remember, these pots are extremely heavy and you'll be lifting them when they're hot, so you need side handles that feel good even when you're wearing a bulky oven mitt. Speaking of weight, another mistake is buying a Dutch oven that's too heavy to pick up. These pots have thick walls and can weigh anywhere from 5 to 20 pounds, depending on the size. Most 5 or 6 quart Dutch ovens weigh around 13 pounds empty and over 20 pounds filled with liquid. Make sure the one you buy is light enough for you to lift and transport. When you look at the weights listed online, add 2 pounds per quart of capacity. That's approximately how much it will weigh when it's nearly full. High-end brands like Le Creuset and Stobe make quality Dutch ovens, but you don't need to spend $400 to get one that performs great and lasts long. Many lesser-known brands use similar materials and construction processes, but cost less because either they sell primarily online, don't invest as much in advertising, or don't have the brand recognition that drives up demand and prices. If you're ready to buy a Dutch oven, I'll link to my favorite brands for all budgets in the video description. Those are affiliate links, so I'll earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If this was helpful, check out this video where I highlight the best alternatives to Le Creuset. And for more videos like this, click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.